Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Manifest of NSA on YouTube. My name is Manifesting Guy. That is my Twitter, text talking podcast. All the links are down below. Time steps are down below. Today we're gonna be talking about it already exists. It being a manifestation. Manifestation meaning you can have anything you want. Let's just get right into it. So creation in its entirety is finished. Anything you can perceive exists. Anything you can affirm that you want exists anything you can visualize in your head exists anything you have the capacity to write down exists your dream job your dream height your dream weight your dream partner like whatever your dream follower count your dream youtube plaque whatever it exists so with this being said that means your job is not to create okay you're not creating from thin air you're not creating a 3d we don't have to sit here and create with our minds a hundred thousand followers on instagram that already exists all you have to do is step into the flow of the alignment. Okay, you have to get into the vibration or expectancy of this manifestation. You have to get into knowing it's going to come to you and it will. That's all you have to do. So your 3D, the reality you're experiencing with your senses, is constantly reflecting, responding to your thoughts, vibrations, awareness, dominant beliefs. That is what is getting created in your 3D. So what you're seeing, you thought about in your mind at one point. This may be a hard concept to grasp, but it's conforming to you 24-7, 365. It's been conforming to you your whole life. The only reason you're in an undesirable circumstance or you keep repeating the same undesirable circumstance is because you expect and assume and dominantly believe that it's what will continue to show up in your reality. So if you change that expectation or belief, your reality will change and you will receive what you want. So if you have an old story that your father is always disappointed in everything that you do, and I say to you, start affirming that he's always proud of you, he loves you, he, you know, he always looks forward to what, anything you have to show him or tell him, and I say I do it with convic conviction and believe, you're going to look at your 3D or the old story and say, no, but this happened and see, he doesn't, he's never anything I do of anything I've ever done. I've literally like climbed Mount Everest and he didn't believe in me. You are going to recreate these same experiences. Now back to creation being finished. I got this analogy from The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. It is a book by Joseph Murphy. It's really, really good. I'm listening to the audio on YouTube for free. Just search it up. It'll come up, whatever. So if a student if we're in a classroom and a student goes up to the board and writes three plus three equals seven and the teacher looks at the answer and says to the student with mathematical certainty that no three plus three is six and the student ch changes his answer on the board the teacher saying three plus three equals six six isn't what made the answer actually six okay she didn't create that answer from thin air she didn't create that by herself the answer already existed it was her conviction that led the student to conform his answer now if she was unsure like no i i think three plus three is six i'm not sure i i don't know if that's right the teacher would be going back and forth in her state so the student would be like you're uncertain either i'm going to keep this answer or we're going to sit here and play a game of who's right and who's wrong that's the same that's the same way your world responds you are not creating from thin air it already exists but it is up to you to embody the state of receiving or expecting or knowing or whatever it is so that creates it so when you go back and forth okay i'm receiving it but i don't know i don't know does it exist is it real is it is this the answer is this not am i doing this right am i affirming enough the universe is responding to that okay whether it's hot and cold behavior, half-half movement, no movement, partial movement. Your subconscious holds all the answers, knowledge, and power of the universe, okay? So your subconscious has the power to heal your body. Your subconscious has the power to communicate telepathically with people you're not even in the same vicinity of. Your subconscious has the power to communicate telepathically with inanimate objects like money, houses, cars. It can all, it can attract that to you. But literally just by thinking the thoughts and repeating the thoughts of what you want to hear. Your vibration or assumptions or beliefs or emotions are what is creating your reality. Whether you believe it or not, whether you know it or not, the universe and life and your manifestations are always working in your favor. Energy is always moving in your favor. Energy is always backing up your assumptions. Your manifestations are always backing up your assumptions. Your movements are always backing up your assumptions. It cannot go against what you assume. You cannot add energy to energy. You cannot you, you cannot add your physical energy to quantum energy or spiritual energy or whatever energy you believe is in the 4D. 
But that being said, you cannot coerce your 3D. Don't use 3D coercion. Stop trying to get in the middle. Stop trying to fix the middle. Stop. You know, if your SP isn't responding, don't hit them. Be like, why aren't you texting me? Why aren't you texting me? It's been two months. This is really how we're going to end things, okay? Don't do that. Do not do that because you just mess it up. It already exists. Let that version of them manifest by changing the way you believe and think about them and the situation. Let go of the old story and step into alignment. When you're focused on the when, the how, why, I've been doing this for how long, you're operating from lack and ego. When you have a desire and a matching vibration, you allow your subconscious to pull in materials from the infinite field of potential and infinite field of consciousness, the 4D, whatever you call it, and materialize it into your 3D. Your limited conscious mind cannot conceive that. It cannot it cannot it, it just won't it will never understand it will never be able to understand you cannot force yourself to understand you'll never know why when how you'll never know so all you can literally do all you should be doing all you have to do is immerse yourself in the expectancy of receiving immerse yourself in your imagination know and trust you already know like know and trust in what you know you know this stuff works you know that you can manifest everything you want stop looking for reasons to doubt stop looking stop paying attention to your 3d stop focusing on circumstances old stories stop trying to use logic just trust and know you because you already have it you already have it you already have it immerse yourself in that experience whether it's by through affirmations visualizing scripting and the universe will deliver every time it already exists you're not creating from thin air you can have it because you are a powerful creator and with that being said that is all i have for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed if you did like comment and subscribe it already exists stop looking for it period i love you so much and i'll talk to you in my next video bye did i say remember you can have anything you want remember you can have anything you want in this universe nothing's too big small water expensive i believe in you you should believe in you i love you so much period